Hi everyone, welcome back. So, it's here. I'm so excited. And what is it you ask? Is that what you're saying? What is it you ask? It is my Creative Memories National Scrapbook Day Haul. Yay! So inside this box, I have um, ordered what I need for the National Scrapbook Day event that I'm going to host this year. And um, as I was explaining in an earlier video, I'm new, so I'm actually just planning a relatively small event for just five people. So I'm so excited to open this and I wanted you to come along and see what's inside as I open it. Okay, so let's take this over to my desk and we'll open it up. Okay, let's get this box opened. So yeah, like I was saying, my National Scrapbook Day um, event's gonna be a little smaller, small this year, I think, because um, because I'm new and I wanna kinda figure things out. I'm not opposed to adding a couple more people if that happens, but um, right now I only have supplies in here for about five people, which brings me to um, something else I wanted to mention. So I, I live in Ventura County, California, which is right where LA County meets Ventura County. So I'm accessible from the San Fernando Valley and areas of Ventura like Camarillo and Thousand Oaks. So if that's you and you're interested in attending a live in-person National Scrapbook Day, then I will have my email listed below and in the description. Just click the see more button and you can, you'll see my email there. Um, email me for more information if you're interested um, in what that event is gonna be. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, let's take out all this packing. I'm just opening this up as you're seeing it. So let's see, um, they're giving catalogs um, in every order currently until the catalogs run out because it is January through March. So it only has um, a couple more weeks left, but that's nice to have. Okay, so you'll see I don't have too much. Let's see, we'll start with this, the fun, <laughs> the punches. So I did get the bumblebee punch and hang on, we'll open that up and do a couple punch outs. And this is a new border making cartridge. It's a circle chain and we'll open that up as well if you hang on. And then let me put those aside. Let's see here. Okay, it's pretty heavy. Oh, that's right, because I did get, this is not specifically for um, National Scrapbook Day, but I just wanted a new cutting mat. Uh, my cutting mat is the old Creative Memories one. It doesn't have all these wonderful um, angles on it, so that's right. So I put that in this purchase as well. So yeah, that's exciting. Okay, so let's dig down in here so I can get to the project recipes. So the way that my National Scrapbook Day is going to be um, held is it's going to be an all-day crop from 9 to 9. And then during that, we will break off and we everybody who comes will get this project recipe included in their payment. And we'll all take some time and make the project recipe samples that are in this box. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I could not remember if I ordered another one. Okay, might have to just get one more because I do want to make a sample ahead of time um, to have that out as another guide. Okay, so we got five, project recipes, okay, and then they have a new paper pack out that kind of coordinates with the National Scrapbook Day. We're going to open all these up and look at them, and it's called Garden Friends. This was a promotional item, and currently it's only available um, from an advisor. So if you have an advisor, you um, need to go through them in order to get this. Okay, so my plan is to use this in coordination with 
the National Scrapbook Day kit. And then the new spring release that just came out is Endless Meadows. And I got both the designer paper pack and the tone on tone paper pack. So another part of my event will be um, another breakout group where we are going to be using this paper um, to make some projects. And I'll demonstrate uh, projects and tools with this paper. Then to go along with the National Scrapbook Day paper pack, everybody that comes to my um, event will also get included with their fees um, the embellishment pack as well. Okay, so I should have five of those. Yep. Okay, perfect. And then I have the sticker set to go with the Endless Meadows. Okay, I just kind of wanted to sample that out before I commit to any more. So that's all I have. And then I have one pack of cardstock here. So I had all the other cardstocks that coordinate with the paper packs. So the other one I did not have and I needed to get more of was the golden rod. So I included that in this package. Okay, so not a super big haul, but it's very exciting that I'm getting my stuff together and ideas flowing for um, National Scrapbook Day. So let's look at some of these papers up close. Let's look first at the project recipe, what it comes with. Okay, so project recipe comes with just what it says. It's a recipe on how to put two pages together. So it has a cutting guide and uh, written instructions so that you can make a total of four pages. Okay, currently this pack is $13.50 and anybody can order this. I, you should go under your advisor. If you need help with that, I would. If you don't have an advisor, then you can go ahead and click the button below, and I would help you. I would love to help you out with that. So, what does it come with? With it comes with six pieces of paper. One is this gorgeous flower paper with the bees on it. Okay, and on the back side is this. Oh, this is beautiful green. It's like a tone on tone green, and it matches very nicely. Yep, those two coordinate nicely. So you get two pieces of that of those front and back. And then you also get two pieces of the cloud paper. And on the back of the cloud is a gray tone on tone and it looks like a little hexagon, like a little beehive. So you see the theme here, right? Okay, so we have clouds. And then you get two pieces of this plaid paper. It's like a blue and green plaid. And on the back side is this blue tone on tone. Oh, again, this is a beautiful shade of blue. Okay, so you get six pieces of pattern paper, two of three, um, and then two of each design. And then you also get a piece of the navy cardstock and a piece of light blue cardstock. Okay, so that's those are very nice. Let me put let me put the pretty paper on the top there for you. <laughs> and then in addition, you get a sticker sheet. And the sticker sheet has two border strips along here and then lots of springy, flowery, buggy stickers to go with it. Okay, so that is that is just awesome. That's the National Scrapbook Day Project Recipe Kit. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's move those over there. Let's look at let's look at the Garden Friends collection. And this is a six sheets of paper, pattern paper and the cost for this one is five dollars. So let's look, we have this blue stripes and on the back is that beautiful bee paper again, just like from the project recipe. Mm, very nice. Okay, then this is a brown. It kind of almost looks like a basket weave, if you can see that. And again, on the back, we have the bee paper. Here's a green, kind of a plaid, tone on tone. And on the back, all oh, their little ladybugs. 
Little ladybugs and leaves. Very precious, very nice. Then we have the yellow hexagon. And it looks again like a beehive. It matches the gray one that we had in the other one, except of course this one is yellow. And then on the back, it has the same ladybugs and leaves that the other one did. So you see what they did? They gave us two. The back sides are the same, but the fronts are different. Very smart, very smart. That way we can, it's very versatile. We can use it many different ways. And then here we have a tone on tone blue. It's light blue with a little bit darker blue. That could even be a gray. There are three little dots clustered together. And then the back is just bees, no flowers, just bees this time. Very, very nice. Let me turn these over so you can see the different pattern papers. The pattern papers are gorgeous and the backs are gorgeous too, but the fronts are very nice. And then this one is almost like a gingham. It looks like a picnic uh, tablecloth, except for blue. It has that same design as a picnic tablecloth. And then the back is the bees again. Okay, so that's the Garden Friends, six sheets of designer paper. Okay, so let's look at Endless Meadows. We'll look at the paper, the designer paper pack first, and then we'll look at the tone on tone. Okay, let's see here. Okay, we have some purple. This is beautiful. It's almost like a watercolor purple. Tone on tone. Oh, and the back has hydrangeas, purple hydrangeas. It's very beautiful. Those two, you get two of those. <laughs> this one looks like it could be like water almost. Another almost watercolory. This is a turquoise blue, green. <laughs> and on the back, oh, that's pretty. A tone on tone green. It has butterflies, birds, flowers. All kinds of different critters like dragonflies. Very nice, very nice. This one is orange and it's a little diamond pattern. It has a little, Some of the diamonds are filled in with other diamonds. Again, it almost has that whitewash or that mixed media kind of look to it. And then the back, oh, the back is fun. Look at that. Different shades of green, purple. And the orange, see, you can really go with all of the papers. Mm, fun, 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 fun. It's going to be fun creating with this. And then here is some more flower papers. It's like almost like a striped flowers with some green vines going down and flowers intertwined. Beautiful. And the back is, it's another watercolor almost look, mixed media yellow on the back. That's gorgeous. That is a really pretty one. It's more of a yellow, or I thought this one was more of an orange, but I guess that's where the goldenrod um, <laughs> car stock comes in, right? And then here's one that almost looks like grass growing in fields, right? <laughs> that's beautiful. Again, a, wa a watercolor. And the, the backside is almost like, it's, it almost looks like my glasses need to be updated. It's a, it was, looks a little blurry to me, but it's kind of like a smudgy, dotted green with that purple, um, the lilac color, and then some dark green. And again, it pulls in that goldenrod orange. Oh, that's beautiful too. And then we have a darker green and light green. Little specks. Very nice. On the other side is some flowers. I'm a floral girl, so I love all things floral. And this one's right up my alley. And it has um, purple, yellow, uh, purple and yellow flowers. Oh, that's very gorgeous. I, I just love this pack. I think another one of these might be coming home with me in my next order. I love that. A lot of times I just get one at first because I know once I add these tone on tone papers, then um, that might be enough for me. So let's look at, look at these. So this is a 12 pack of double-sided paper. Again, we have that purple. Oh, and okay, so what they did was they did the same design 
on each side and they just gave different colors. So you have the purple and the blue and then orange or the golden rod. This is like almost a little diamond pattern going through that and then green. Gorgeous, gorgeous. You could see how those would coordinate very nicely with the other paper pack. So this one is that watercolor, it almost looks like chains going down, similar to what we had in the other pack. And a very nice tone on tone green leaf pattern on the back side. Okay, let's put those like that. And then again in blue. So they did almost, they did the same thing. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. It's like a dark turquoise greenish blue. I'm not sure how you would what you would call that on your side, but to me it's like a darker greenish turquoise and it has butterflies. Very nice. The butterflies don't hit you in the face though because it's the tone on tone. And then we have the goldenrod or the or the yellow orange. And the back side of this one has birds. Okay, I'm just gonna say I like the front side better on that one. We all have our own preferences. I'm not huge on distressing. Watercolors, okay, distressing, hmm, not too sure. <laughs> and then we have this orangey peach color. Again, it's the chains coming down. Oh, look at the back. The back is a beautiful purple and it has like a lavender um, twigs throughout. So another tone on tone. That's why this is the tone on tone pack. <laughs> okay, so that one's a little different because it, the back side is not the same. So yep, those are gorgeous. Let me just pull this out to show you how well it coordinates together. So that's why sometimes I only get one at first and if I like it, then I'll go back and get a second one. Yep, I like that. And then it, of course it comes with the sticker pack, or it didn't come with the sticker pack. I bought the sticker pack separately. This will be fun to create with. So it has three pages of stickers. It has the ti the titles, and sometimes these could even be used as journaling. If you're lo uh, lacking for words, you could just put something like that on. Yeah, that's that's so pretty. Some photo corners down here. Some words, again, act as some journaling if you're short on words. Some nature. These are beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, that's Endless Meadows. That's a brand new collection that just came out a week ago. So if you like any of those, hop on over to the Creative Memories website. Okay, so to go along with our project recipe... The National Scrapbook Day paper are the embellishments. So let's take a peek at some of these. The small pack. This pack is pretty inexpensive. I believe it was $2 or yeah, $2 or $2.50. I think it was $2. Let's see what we get. A little journaling box. Two of those. This one says basket full of goodies. Cute. You can use that for even for Easter. Oh, that's gorgeous has some foiling. Food, friends, and sunshine. Amen to that, right? <laughs> Blissful. Look how pretty that looks next to that paper. <laughs> Life's a picnic. I love that one. <laughs> That's cute. Life with you is always a picnic. Cute, cute. This one says... Spring into spring, no, swing, swing into spring. And then some little icons, some leaves, birds. You can never go wrong with those, right? One more leaf, that one didn't want to come out. There you go, that's the embellishment kit, if you're wondering. That's pretty good, that's a pretty good amount for, for the price, right? Okay, let's clean this up really quickly and let's Look at the tools. You guys know the tools are my favorite thing. <laughs> I love the paper. I love the paper. And I love the albums. But the tools by far grab my heart each time. Let's start with the bumblebee punch. And let's take a look. This is, I've been waiting for this one. It's so 
It's so cute. Okay, I've been waiting for this bumblebee punch. It's so stinking cute. It's gonna go great with the honeycomb order making cartridges if you got that. Unfortunately, that is sold out now. Um, you can you know, check with your advisor, maybe they have some. I, I don't currently have any extras of them. It was such a big hit, I think, especially once the bee came out. Okay, so let's let's take a look at this. So first, when you get a brand new punch, you should always uh, run it through with some scrap paper. So I have some scrap paper here because it might leave a little bit of ink, or it might leave a little bit of oily residue the first time through. I, don't, it, I see a little bit, but it's not too bad. So I'm gonna give it another couple punches with it. There we go. Nope, still getting a little bit out. So let's give it another. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Okay. Yep, always just do a little a few punches on some scrap paper so that you don't ruin your design that you want to put onto your scrapbook page. Okay, so let's try it out with some black. You can really do any color you want. I'm just gonna line it up in the back. I'm just trying to learn this. You saw me just open it for the first time. I guess you can go either way, but I kind of want to conserve my paper and um, see how many I can get. So I lined it up in the back and then I always, if, I, if I'm if i looking at it upwards and I um, punch it, I turn it over to make sure I'm getting all the little fallout comes out of the punch and doesn't stay in there. Okay, there you go. That is beautiful. So cute. And you'll know you're gonna see some videos coming up on what to do with that and how to fill in the backside. Okay, so here I'm gonna do another one. Again, I'm gonna shake it so all the fallout comes out. And there you go. Cute as a bug, right? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this new one. This is the Circle Chain Order Making Cartridge. It's very similar to the um, honeycomb pattern because it's a chain. They're both chains. Okay, I'm going to insert that in there. And for this one, I'm going to use a piece of red paper scrap that I had laying around. I haven't seen the border making system before. You pull out the guide, lift up the bar, slide the paper in, make sure it's flush in the corner and then put down the blue guardrail, put the guide back under. I've inserted it, I've inserted the cartridge and then you just line up the notches and then you press down. Um, I like to pull it out and then bring it back in. Now this is scratch paper and again, I would do it on a piece of scratch paper first, but. This one just happens to be red, but I don't have plans for this necessarily. And it looks like, um, it's got a little bit of oil right there, but the actual circles don't look like they have oil. Okay. And one more. So you'll get six two inch cuts. So that's gonna be a 12 inch border. Well, that is cute. Yep, we're gonna have to come up with some ideas for that for sure, right? Okay, let's move that. And if you're into saving the fallout, these punch out a lot of cute little circles that you can use on your page as well. Okay, well, I hope that brings you a little bit of excitement for National Scrapbook Day. Hope you're gonna plan on doing something. It's National Scrapbook Day is true. Date is the first Saturday in May, but the celebrations are already beginning. Some people are having celebrations this weekend even coming up. So really National Scrapbook Day is your time to celebrate and it can happen whenever, whenever you choose. So if you like any of these products, I hope that you go visit the Creative Memory site. Again, all my information will be linked down below. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.